Hey, what's up guys? Uh, given the current situation, I thought it might be a good idea uh, to get people to start thinking about being proactive about who we're going to be reaching out to and who we should be reaching out to. Um, and one of the ways that we can do that is we can harness the data in a planning center to maybe give us a good indication of who those people might be. Uh, in this particular case, um, I've thrown together a simple list with some rules here and this, uh, I'm going to be using uh, giving. Um, one of the, the indicators that may or may not uh, be something that we can look at to tell us that someone may be struggling um, is that they've stopped giving. So I've set up a simple list to give me the donors that gave in January, gave in February, but haven't given March. March was the time when this thing really hit. A lot of people lost their jobs. Uh, one of the things that they may have done was stopped giving. Um, obviously, we can adjust this for April once April finishes, um, but this is the, the current list that I'm running, and you're gonna wanna set this up to uh, sync to MailChimp, and we don't have to set this up to sync on a recurring basis because we're doing it month by month. So at the end of the month in April, we'll wanna come back in here and adjust this um, to see if they've continued to stop giving in April. And what's gonna happen is this is actually going to update and give us our tag here in MailChimp. And if we come over here to campaigns, uh, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm gonna reach out to people in need. Now obviously we don't wanna come out and say, hey, we noticed you stopped giving. Uh, that's definitely not what we wanna do. But we do wanna reach out to them and say, hey, uh, we're just checking in and <clears throat> let them know that uh, we have resources available. We have people here available to pray for them. Uh, my church has a COVID-19 resource page set up. That'd be a great time to put that link here in this email and invite them to call you or reply to this email directly. Um, for this particular automation, I'm gonna go ahead and let them know that I'm gonna reach out to them every week unless they tell me not to. And the way I'm gonna let them tell me not to is I've actually created this uh, contact form and planning center that says, would you like us to continue to check in with you? And this is just a custom attribute that I've set up on the person in particular. And I've set this list up called Stop COVID-19 and its rules are very simple. Uh, give me all the people where continue to contact is set to no. And you're gonna wanna set that up uh, to refresh and resync every night so that they can go in there and um, fill that out whenever they want so they don't continue to get, get any emails. Uh, well, how do they not get any more emails? Well, we wanna make sure that we filter <coughs> by that tag and we wanna make sure that our contact <coughs> uh, is not tagged with that particular tag. Uh, I'm sorry, our contact is tagged with stop COVID-19. So we're gonna save that segment. And um, again, these are just two emails you might wanna do once a week uh, for the next four weeks. Again, just to check in, why not? If they don't wanna get those emails, you can uh, link them back to this form to fill out and they will opt out of this campaign. Guys, this is what gets me excited and it should get you excited as well. Uh, it's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to how we can harness the data in Planning Center and move that into MailChimp and have these technologies work for us so we don't have to do it manually. Um, yeah, we absolutely wanna be personal with our emails. We wanna be contacting these people. Um, but this is just a way to get these people in the door to figure out if they do need us uh, they do need prayer they need us to reach out to them and we can use this at different times throughout the year it's not specific to this situation right um, if someone stops giving all of a sudden that might be a great indicator for you or someone on your pastoral staff to reach out to that person to see how they're doing um, if you liked this video if you liked this automation I encourage you to check out my course at pcomvp.com slash course. Uh, we go over a lot of different walkthroughs, including this uh, type, of, uh, type of stuff, type of automations. But we also get down into the details, and I make sure you really understand how MailChimp and Planning Center work together, uh, how you can navigate around MailChimp to get done what you need to get done. So I really encourage you to check it out. A uh, link will be, again, at the end of this video and in the description. Thanks, guys.